Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, so after another, I think, 20 minutes of traveling as a ghost, I managed to sort of breach the edge, the other side of the continent, and then I hit uh, teleport to priest, the nearest priest, and uh, thankfully it uh, brought me to uh, yeah, within Moronko. Uh, I wasn't sure whether it was going to take me back to Moronko or just brought me back to some other town. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> and so it's dawn now, so as you can see the you know, the outside of Moronko, the narrow pass is back, and and one thing that I noticed uh, about this narrow pass is that there are many crevices along the mountain mountainside so that means you know uh, bandits can hide within those crevices uh, which you cannot see wh uh, whether you're traveling from this direction or uh, that direction so you will only see them once you ride past and so that may be a way for them to set up ambushes so I think <laughs> SV is really, you know, being very devious uh, in, in the way they construct their you know, the terrain so as to allow ambushes and, uh, you know, for players who want to ambush other players, you know, those who want to play the uh, <laughs> player, player bandit. And... So one thing I notice is that this world, like I mentioned uh, earlier, is that the world is absolutely massive. It is so massive. Um, I think I s spent one hour traveling as a ghost. Yeah, I think I took about an hour just to get to, you know, from Maduli all the way to the other side of the continent. And so that means uh, if you're traveling on foot, it could take you... I don't know, maybe three hours or something, maybe. Maybe two and a half, three hours, I'm not too sure, but but yeah, I think <laughs> you're definitely gonna need a need a mount. And uh so this is not uh this is not the same as the Mortal Online One world anymore. <laughs> we finally have a world that is a world. A world that is so big that, you know, that it actually requires extensive travel time. Alright, so anyway, we reached uh, Moronko, and so one thing that I uh, noticed uh, straight away is that... Yeah, so one thing I noticed straight away was that the new Moronko, uh, you know, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's slightly more, uh, more of a hybrid between Mongolian and, you know, feudal Japanese and, you know, ancient Korean sort of architectural style. Um, that's what I noticed when I ordered, you know, to the nearest priest in Moronko. Oh, my frame rate's dipping, dipping down really low. <laughs> I'm not too sure why, but <laughs> hopefully it goes back up. I don't know where it, whether it's a memory leak or something. Hopefully not. Oh man, look at the frame rate. <laughs> it's like... Okay, so if you look up into the sky, it'll... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit... A little bit troubling to see. Um, hopefully, the SV can do some optimization work on this. But yeah, uh, so one thing that's sort of, like I mentioned earlier, it's it's no longer the um, you know sort of very rugged and very ancient Mongolian sort of architectural style. I mean, you, you see this. This reminds you of um, you know I've been to Japan, and this really does remind me of you know the Japanese sort of architectural style. So I don't know. I think SV has um, you know gone for that uh, hybrid look the ancient Japanese feudal 
Japanese and the Mongolian and the Korean sort of um, architectural style. So we'll we'll see more of it. Um, so I'm definitely very happy to see Moronko. It's definitely uh, definitely very good, very good to look at, and it's got that very peaceful, kind of a serene and tranquil sort of feel to it. Some in some places. Oh, the frame rate's terrible. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better. But man, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Right, so... Let's have a look at... Oh man, <laughs> I do apologize guys for the terrible frame rates. I don't know what's causing it, but hopefully it's just, you know, the game loading all the uh, assets into memory, hopefully. Hopefully this won't be the case for the whole, you know, for the whole uh, video. I think it's starting to get a little bit better. No? <laughs> Alright. So yeah, you, you do get that mixture of um, Mongolian and you know, the feudal Japanese and uh, slightly the Korean architectural styles as well. So it's a, I feel it's a mixture of three. You know, you get uh, who is this? <laughs> Rosary Brenda, okay. <laughs> I think you, do your, you can do your cooking here. Oh man, I really think that SV needs to do some, you know, optimization work on this. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not, um, doesn't look very good at the moment. Okay, <laughs> the frame rate's getting to 30 now, so hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> I don't know, it, it seems like it's certain areas that, um, certain areas that experiences a frame rate drop. Oh, which, which, which direction am I supposed to go? Am I just come? Oh, okay, I think, I think I'm coming out of the, uh, Maybe we do need to go back out this way. Oh, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so if I look at the look at the ground, it's 40, 40 frames per second. But you know, as, as soon as I look up, then it starts to. Yeah, I definitely think that there's there's some optimization work that needs to happen. Get out of my town! <laughs> they're not they're not that. Uh, <laughs> they, they, it seems like the guys don't really like you, and I think it may be partly due to. Um, let me just show you. I think it may be due to standings. So, so I think if you increase your standings, then maybe. Okay, so I'm kind of neutral at the moment towards everyone except the results. Okay. All right. So, so I think if you increase your standings, then you know they might say. You know, they'll, they'll treat you better, hopefully. <laughs> Let's see what we have, what we have in here. <laughs> oh, well, here you go, guys. If you, if you want gold, here's where, here's where you get it. Just, 
visit a barrel and you'll get all the money you ever need. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> oh, I'm starting to get lost here. Um, I think there's supposed to be like a... So this is the bank, I presume. Yep. Okay. Put away the gold. Okay. And banking is um, is local. And it's regional as well. So what that means is that, uh, in case you don't know this, uh, the items that you put in a bank in one town will only stay in that town. So you can't just go to another town and then expect your items to be there. That's what we call local banking, as opposed to global banking, which is, you know, you go to any town and your items will just, you know, appear there. But that's not how things work. Which brings me to another interesting topic. Um, you know, I think in future, when this game goes, uh, you know, live and persistent, you know, when it launches, I really think that uh, traveling, you know, uh, escort guards and mercenaries and, you know, being in a, uh, in a, you know, in a guild with, or, you know, with having friends to watch your back is going to be paramount. You know, I think it's going to be a very big part of um, this game. Have I just gone out the same way I came up, came back in again? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Okay, let, let's let's just um. Well, I think, yeah, <laughs> came back came back out the way I came. Okay, so let's just go in. Let's continue on this side. <laughs> I've been talking a bit, a little bit too much, and sort of getting distracted. But yeah, I think traveling is going to involve, you know, a lot of logistics and. I think you can still travel solo, but it's going to be a lot more dangerous because of the increased travel time. So it's definitely going to make things a lot more dangerous for, you know, for players. So, and I think it's going to encourage more grouping and players to uh, look for help from other players. Let's go through that bridge and have a look. Oh, this this Moronka is way bigger than <laughs> it's way bigger than uh, than the one in Morse Online One. That's for sure. It's definitely a lot bigger. So presumably, this is the. Okay, so this is the... Wow. <laughs> very, very uh, grand. So I, I presume that uh, a lot of players will probably like this this town when, when the game launches. And I'm pretty sure uh, RPK will be back here as well. <laughs> they will be back to try and uh, dominate this town just like they did in MO1. Yeah, I remember they actually ward off the the town from the rest of the world and uh, they even set up a password at the gates so that you have to either know the password and I think they, later they changed it to uh, you know you have to pay a toll pay at like a I think two gold toll to get through so that was marginally better for me <laughs> compared to when they had the password on, which, you know, pretty much prevented me from getting out. And I had to basically leave everything behind because, um, because I think I had a character. I think I had one of my alts in Moronko when the walls went up. And so one of my alts was trapped in Moronko and I had to, you know, basically break him out. <laughs> Don't start anything. And rest assured, I, I I won't be the one doing you know starting the fights. <laughs> It'll be someone else. 
All right, so I think this is where it leads down, downwards to, it's just, just as I remember, yeah, this is the, uh, uh, I'm so eager to go down and see what's, see what they have. Here we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, one thing that I, um, that I, I uh, remembered was I've been reading some, uh, you know, gaming websites. Uh, I think some of them wrote articles saying that, you know, do we really want huge open worlds? Do we really want a huge world that is so huge that kind of like Mortal Online 2, and you know that they were saying that uh, you know it's unnecessary, it's it's uh, it's this and that, you know, it's distracting, it's you know, it's bad and all that. But um, you know, I strongly disagree with that. I strongly disagree with wh what? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. So anyway, um, you know, they were saying, yeah. So you know, I, I disagree with um, with them saying that we don't need a huge open world for you know games like uh, I think it was Assassin's Creed Odyssey or something, or you know something along those lines. That the game that they were complaining about. And I strongly disagree with um, them saying that we don't need huge open worlds. I actually think that a huge open world is is what makes, you know, a, a RPG fun. At least for me, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about this, but I just feel that um, you know, huge open worlds, a huge world is is very important for me. You know, I find that a small world kind of just kills it. And I do remember that uh, Mortal Online 1's world was, you know, I think they were limited in the size of the world that, that SV could create, but, you know, I could tell that they were trying to, you know, design the world in such a way as to make it seem that it's bigger than it really is. Uh, you know, the way they try and, you know, place the mountains and like, place the, you know, basically design and shape the world in such a way as to give that uh, sort of illusion that the world is, you know, is massive, even though it's, you know, much, much smaller than Multiple Online 2's world. So, yeah, that, that's just my, yeah, that's my view on huge open worlds. I, yeah, I really feel that huge open worlds is what makes the world a world. I mean, if you look at Skyrim, Skyrim was huge and the game was hugely hugely popular and so was Oblivion's. Um, now, if you look at, um, you know, one of, uh, you know, one of the Elder Scrolls past games, I think it was the Elder Scrolls Redguard, uh, that was a much smaller scale world and, you know, for, I think there were different reasons why the game didn't do so well, but I think one of them one of the reasons why it didn't do so well, I think, if I remember correctly, was because of the world was um, was small. You know, it was a small scale world, and and I think, oh, very nice sound effects. Yeah, so you know, I'm glad that SV went with you know like a huge open world because. Oh, <laughs> bad landing. <laughs> so I wonder if I, uh, so yeah, I'm glad that SV went with a huge, unbelievably huge world. And it reminds me, um, when I was traveling as a ghost for like an hour, uh, I, I saw places that were just you know, incredibly beautiful. And I mean, if you look at this, this is, I wonder if you can collect the bamboo. 
Basically, please let us collect bamboo so we can feed the pandas. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I saw some places that were just absolutely beautiful and, and you know, it's, it's something that you have to see to believe. And, uh, wow, let me just look at, look at the, oh man, oh, look at this, look at this world. Wow. Oh yes. <laughs> I could stand here and stare at it all day, but I won't. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> yeah, if this game was, was live and persistent, it would, it would just be like a quick way to get myself killed. <laughs> so don't do that. When the game goes live, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't stand there and go AFK or anything. Okay, I want to. I want to just go down to the. Uh, down, you know, go down the uh, to where the waterfall is, and okay. So I don't think that SV is going to put graveyards in this game. I don't think they are because I haven't seen a single graveyard since the uh, alpha began and so it's most likely that they won't have a graveyard this time and and you know i think that may be a good thing because um it just means that um you know pkers you know player killers will have to basically go out and look for players you know they can't just go to a graveyard and wait for the you know or new players to come and then just gank them in there. Well, yeah, this is looking very, very nice. I definitely like it. So yeah, thank you SV for giving us a huge, huge, huge open world. Thank you. I, I just wanna, just wanna say that you have no, uh, you have no idea how how much it means to me to actually see this world. Yeah. And I remember there is a dungeon here. Is is, is it open? Is this the, is this the dungeon? I remember there was a dungeon here. At least to the crypts. But I don't think that. I don't think we'll we'll see that for you know until the uh, until later on when the game launches. Okay, so it's definitely very very different. However, you do have you know similar. You know, you, you kind of recognize certain places. You can kind of recognize certain places from Morse One Line 1's Moronko and Morse One Line 2's. And, uh, so this is... Oh. Okay, let's go over here and... Yeah, so this, I don't think that's, uh, okay, I think if we head down towards this side, it'll head, it'll lead us to Toxai. I'm not sure if Toxai has been added. <laughs> it's been so many patch notes. I don't, I don't even, uh, I can't even keep track of them anymore. SV has basically, uh, <laughs> outpaced me when it comes to them dropping patches into the game and me being able to rem remember what they've done. <laughs> they've done so much, you know, in, in just eight months, they've done so much, you know, and and, you know, given that they're a small indie team, you know, the, the 
pace of devel development has been nothing short of amazing and but I also know that they've hired a big team so I, I guess that could explain why they've been able to manage to you know develop at such a fast pace you know so I think that's good I think that's that's a good thing um, that they've got a big team and uh, but yeah I think I won't go for too long in this video maybe we can see toxite Yeah, so I think movement speed has been slowed down. However, combat speed is um, is pretty fast still. Yeah, it's slightly faster now compared to what it, what it was before. However, that they've um, reduced the movement speed a little bit. I think they're trying to you know get the balance just right because this is a one server game. So, you know, I do know that they are trying to basically get it, you know, fine tune it to such a point that they can make everyone happy. Um, however, I do know that some people have been asking, asking SV for, you know, a North America server in addition to a European server. Now, to be honest, I don't think that SV will do this because this would go against the one of their cardinal rules for the you know for this project for Mortal Online. You know, Mortal Online has been designed around the whole concept of one world, everyone being on the same game world, and you know I personally feel that that's an important thing for you know I feel you know for. What happened? What? What happened? Huh? I just got dumped back to... Oh, come on. Is this a bug? How am I supposed to report this? I don't know if SV can uh, can recognize what I'm trying to say, but I don't know if they can understand what I'm trying to say, but yeah, you, you saw how I got teleported. One wood. Yeah, so you saw how I got teleported uh, back to basically here. Um, okay, anyway, I don't think we can go to Toxai, but, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't think that you know, a two server system is going to, I don't think that they're going to go for, you know, two servers. At least that's not what I, uh, I don't think that they will do that you know, because that's, like I said, it, it's one of the cardinal rules of Morse One Light is that the whole game revolves around one server. Uh, it's kind of like having it first person, you know, first person only is a cardinal rule. And PvP everywhere, anytime is also a cardinal rule, and a one server game is also one of the cardinal rules, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I don't think that SV will, you know, ever give us a North America server and a European server. I think I'll just stick to one server, and they're going to try and do everything they can, you know, try every kind of, you know, technique and system they can. <laughs> possibly get their hands on and try and work it in such a way that uh you know that players pings are 
you know, sort of maintain at a real, uh, you know, relatively, you know, tolerable levels. So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I think, <laughs> but I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, you know, one of SV's staff members, so, you know, I can't, I can't speak for sure, but that's just what I think. You know, I don't think SV will ever give us, you know, a two server system. You know, it'll always just be on that one, that one server. And so I know that, uh, there are players who have set up polls and, uh, I think there are people who, who want to see the game on two servers, but there are also those who don't want to see the game on two servers. And I can, I can understand the reasoning and the, um, and the arguments for and against. Um, but yeah. So, but yeah, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. I think <laughs> we've covered quite a bit and we've seen quite a lot as well. And I've talked on a, quite a number of things. So, but we'll leave it at that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Morinko is a beautiful place. And so I'm sure a lot of players will want to be here. We'll come here when, when Moronka, when the game, uh, when the game launches. And I'm sure RPK will be back as well to basically you know, control this place. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see RPK uh, here back here when, when the game launches. So, but for now, uh, thank you very much everyone for watching today. And, and I do apologize for the, you know, the, very low frame rates at the was the beginning of the video and uh you know hopefully sv will you know do some opt optimization work on it so that it doesn't you know doesn't happen you know like the way it does now uh but yeah if you could please uh like comment subscribe and share this video and and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching this is fine gaming connoisseur take care and have a good day